You are a professor at both UCLA and Columbia Law School, and your focus has been race and gender. So I have so many questions. First of all, why? What's the difference? And which plays more of a role in a person's life socially? Well, well, thanks for that question. It's really a lifelong pursuit of mine to be able to think about that question. There has long been a sort of demand that Black women choose which barrier is the most meaningful. Does race hold us back more? Does gender hold us back more? And my work over the last 30 years has been to say race and gender play an intersecting role in our lives. Within racism, uh, gender plays a role. The kinds of racism that Black women face historically and now has been shaped by our gender. It includes uh, sexual violence, which has been a factor of our lives since we got here. It includes um, where we end up in the workforce. It includes the kind of opportunities we have. And sexism is often racist as well. The kinds of things that happen to us when we're sexually harassed, we get called different things than white women do. Or different things happen to us when we go to the hospitals and have and try to have children. We have the highest rate of uh, maternal mortality uh, in the world. So when people ask, well, which is it? Is it race or gender? Obviously, in all of these examples, it's both of them. So a lot of the, the challenge that I try to uh, take up is creating a way of thinking about anti-racism that doesn't exclude Black women mm -hmm. and thinking about feminisms in a way that don't exclude women who are Black. Ah, uh, yeah, I understand. Now, you mentioned inter that they intersect, yes. which is a term that you created and have kind of metamorphosized, intersectionality. <laughs> <laughs> what is intersectionality? <laughs> well, um, so intersectionality was basically a metaphor that I used to try to tell a story that courts didn't seem to understand, uh, many civil rights groups didn't understand, and feminist groups didn't understand. And it was basically just a way of saying, look, when Black women experience discrimination in some industries where there are jobs for women, but they are women who are white, and there are jobs for Black people, but they're Black people who are men. Mm -hmm. Those are circumstances where there's no place for Black women. But many times courts would say, well, if you can't tell the same story that a white woman tells, you can't make a claim for gender discrimination. And if you can't tell the same story that a Black man would tell, you can't make a claim for race discrimination. So I was trying to think, well, what is it that these courts aren't understanding that we understand about our own lives? So intersectionality is basically just a metaphor to say, you can have racism shaping your job opportunity, you can have sexism coming from a completely different direction. When those two things come together and overlap, your experience is gonna be different from everyone else's who aren't sitting in that intersection between race and gender. So that, that's all it is. It's really just a way of telling a story about what happens to our lives. Well, that's interesting. You say if you go to the courts, they say you can't tell the same story that a, a white woman can tell, but you can't tell the same story that a black man could tell. So what exactly is a black woman's story when they claim uh, to be oppressed? Well, it depends on the context. So in employment, the story could be, as I mentioned, where you have like an auto manufacturing plant where the jobs for women were traditionally secretarial jobs. Back in the day, black women weren't being hired for those jobs. Uh, many industries didn't want people to come in and see a black woman or hear a black woman. They were to be not seen and not heard. In those same jobs, there were jobs that were on the floor. They were the heavy and industrial jobs. Those weren't jobs that people thought women could do. So black women couldn't get hired in the front office. They couldn't get hired on the floor. So generally speaking, they didn't have the same job opportunities as they would have had if they were white or if they were male. That's what intersectionality looks like. It's the way racism and sexism play out specifically against black women. And now we have many, many uh, examples of it in this current moment when we're fighting against anti-black police violence black women experience police violence too in some ways that are the same they get killed uh, like black men do and some ways that are different they are also sexually abused in a way that a lot of men are not so this is another way in which if you have an intersectional lens 
you see things and you know things that you wouldn't be able to see or know if you just had a race lens or a gender lens exclusively.